Thank you, Jason David Frank. And Mr. Spun. And thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when we have new content. That's Tom. And that's Chris. Decca. What do we got on deck for today? Grab your tissues and prepare your eulogies because on today's episode we talk about deaths in the Power Rangers universe. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing black. So stay <laughs> tuned. It's PRNT time. After 10,000 years, I'm free! It's time to watch PRNT! Rangers. This episode of PRNT. Your source for all things Power Rangers. Rangers. As we heard in the opener, today's episode is going to be a very solemn one. That's right. That's because today's episode is all about deaths in the Power Ranger universe. Now, to be clear, we're not talking about the deaths of actors. We're talking about the deaths of characters. And it doesn't seem like there would be enough character deaths uh, for us to talk about. But there are a lot more than you remember. That's because not only are we going to talk about characters that died and stayed dead, but we're going to talk about characters that died and were later resurrected. Now, uh, let's start with the obvious one. Okay. Uh, Kendrix from Lost Galaxy. Right. In the TV show, she is actually the first ranger to die in the line of duty and... What a death it was. It, too. it was a giant moment. Yeah. Uh, she died during the, uh, the in space crossover, right. uh, saving the Terra Venture after Psycho Pink. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, she took the she psycho pink like stabbed Cassie's morpher. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Uh, with the savage sword. Right. Um, yeah. A- a creating a pink energy storm. Right. Yeah. Kendricks was destroyed in the process. Um, when she destroyed the s- savage sword. Okay. Uh, she took her quasar saber and like s- broke the savage sword, but it re- that resulted in an explosion and her death. Yes. Now. Uh, Power Rangers, uh, being a kid's show, she was later resurrected when the Rangers, uh, put the Quasar Sabres back into the rock, um, on Marinoi. Right. Yeah, but for a time, she really was dead. Yeah. Uh, a similar storyline can be found, um, in Time Force when Alex, the original red Time Force Ranger from the year 3000, yes. uh, is is seen being destroyed by Rancic in the opening episodes. Later, though, we find out that Alex is alive, and his resurrection is being credited for a change in the time stream while the Rangers were in present day. But for a while, he was dead, too. Uh, Our next set of Rangers who died in the line of duty uh, comes from Mystic Force. Uh, Mystic Force. Yeah, we are talking about Daggeron, also known as the Solaris Knight, and Leonbow. Uh, now, there is some debate as to uh, whether these two are rangers or just allies, but uh, no matter what you think, they definitely did die in the light of duty. Right. Uh, they were attempting to keep the Master uh, from rising again, and they were both killed in the line of duty during this time, but they were brought back by Necroli, actually, after she kind of flipped teams and became one of the good guys. Uh are there any rangers that weren't resurrected? I mean, I get it's a kid's show, mm-hmm. but uh, it kind of takes away from the, the sacrifices that these rangers made um, just for them to come back later. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, their death was so cool. Oh, wait, I'm back. So, yeah. Um, the only one I can think of would be the original Magnet Defender. Mm. Yeah, um, and his son, Zika. After escaping the pit he was trapped in, the Magna Defender searched for Scorpius, uh, letting nothing stand in his way, often being careless uh, with his actions and putting civilians in harm's way. Right. One of his plans was set to destroy the Terra Venture, uh, but the Magna Defender's son, Zika, appeared to him in, like, a smoky form, which helped him remember uh, that uncontrolled vengeance wasn't the right answer here. Uh, the Magna Defender then sacrificed his life uh, to save the Terra Venture and later gave his powers to Mike. Right, so Magna, the original Magna Defender died and stayed dead. Yeah. Um, there is another group of Rangers that died and were never resurrected, though. 
Yeah? Who? Yeah, the 1969 Blue, Black, and Pink Rangers from the Boom Studios comic series. Ah, yeah. That was a cool storyline, uh, even though it resulted in the death of three rangers. Right. Mostly due to poor planning and being unprepared, but they were ranger deaths nonetheless. Um, okay, so I, I got a death uh, that we can talk about. Okay. Uh, well, remember the end of In Space? Uh-huh. When Andros destroyed Zordon's tube? Uh-huh. Well... Do you think that was the death of Zordon? Hmm. Good question. Something you've actually spent a lot of time talking about. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to go with no. I know why you're going with no. No. But explain to the good people at home. Well, remember Zordon is this intergalactic wizard trapped in a time warp, okay? And his energy tube was really for communication only. And it wasn't really sustaining him his life, unless you look at the movie, the first mo- movie. Right. But I think in the show, he wasn't like in the tube. He was, you know, it's just a communication device. Yeah. Right. So basically, uh, what you're saying is, is we think that, uh, when Andrews, uh, destroyed the energy tube, all it did was se- sever the connection between Zordon and Earth and, uh, that it didn't kill him at all. Right. It, exactly. Yep. Uh, so, and Boom Studios kind of, uh, confirmed this too, um, in the comics. Yes, 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 they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they showed Zordon kind of floating around in, in kind of like space, uh, after the energy tube had, had been destroyed by the Black Dragon. Ground control to Major Zordon. That's what I think of when I see him floating around in there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So even though the tube was destroyed in that comic series, he remained alive. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, you heard it here fo- first, guys. Zordon is not dead. Uh, we talked a little bit about this in another video, so check the card. Right, yeah. Okay. I got another one that we can talk talk about. Who's that? Casey, the Red Jungle Fury Ranger. I don't remember any of those rangers dying during the series. Well, this would have happened after the end of the Jungle Fury season. Okay. Hey, I want you to think back to Super Megaforce in the episode that Casey appeared in. Okay, yeah, I remember. He uh, he helped Jake and Emma discover their animal spirits. Right, yeah. He first appeared to us as a zookeeper uh, that, of course, was in charge of the tiger exhibit. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Anyways, he trained Jake and Emma. They discovered their animal spirits. And in the end, they destroyed the monster and the world was saved yet again. Right. Okay. Remember the end of this episode, though? Yeah. Uh, the Rangers went to thank him, and uh, they were told nobody named Casey ever worked there. Right. They went to the zoo, tried to find him, and he was, was, wasn't there. And then, right before the episode ends, we see Jake and Emma turn and look into this gazebo that's standing over, over them. We see Casey bow, and then poof, disappear. Okay. Um, so, how does that relate to Casey being dead? Well, remember in the Jungle Fury season, Dai Shi was released in the early episodes. He killed Master Mao, uh, and that's why the Rangers had to go and find my buddy, RJ. Right. Right. Also remember that Master Mao continued to appear to the Rangers, often offering them advice and then disappearing into thin air. Just like. So you're saying that because nobody had ever heard of Casey at the zoo and that he disappeared disappeared into thin air uh, after offering his words of wisdom, he must be dead just like Master Mao? Yeah, I, that's exactly what I'm saying. What do you think? I, I would definitely have to agree with that. Uh, I mean, he appears and disappears just like Master Mao did. And uh, it's also kind of reminiscent of... Uh, how Kendricks died and then reappeared in Lost Galaxy. Right, yeah. So, you know, we know that Master Mao died. It, it was clear. And then he started appearing in Visions and stuff like that. And Casey did the same thing in Super Megaforce. Hmm. So he was acting like the dead Master Mao. So, Man, that's two breakthroughs in this episode. That is, yeah. So, <laughs> again, you heard it here, fans. Zordon is not dead. But Casey is. <laughs> I wonder if the Morphin Grid uh, plays some kind of role in keeping the spirits of people uh, it, it bonds with uh, from crossing over. 
um, in, in case they need to be resurrected. Mm. Almost like like a purgatory, yeah, type of thing. They kind of talk about that in the new 2017 movie mm-hmm. as well. A Morphin Grid Purgatory. Sounds like an episode for a later date. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, this concludes our deaths. Now, of course, there are probably others we missed and talked about. But our big focus here was that Zordon is not dead, but Casey is. <laughs> so if you agree or disagree with us, if you have a comment, think we're wrong, tell us, think we're right, definitely tell us. Uh, but you can either A, leave a comment below or message us on any of our social media. That's right. And thank you guys so much again for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget to ring the bell so you know if I don't up new content. And remember, as we sign off, our hope is that the power will always protect you. Let's power down. Hey Rangers, thanks for checking out this episode. If you want to see more, be sure to click the link to the left to see our most popular video. Check out the link on the right to see our most recent upload. And aim for that button in the center to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you still want more, be sure to check out our social media pages where we post all sorts of things to be your source for all things Power Rangers.